This weekend, I went to an estate sale, and while I was there, I managed to find a great salt and pepper mill set for only a dollar. So I started thinking, have I collected enough items over the years from garage sales and estate sales that I could actually set an entire Thanksgiving Day table using only those items? Well, this is what I came up with. I added up the total cost of what I remember paying for each item on this table and it comes to a little less than $25. I did add some mums from my garden, but the urns that they're in did come from a garage sale and I also took some pumpkins from my garden and set them around the table too. I like how this table turned out. It was kind of fun to limit myself and see how creative I could get with different things and it's an elegant but simple table. I found these plates, all of them, at different garage sales, including this one. These are Pottery Barn um, cocktail plates, and I got a whole set of 24 of them for $2. Amazing deal. I really enjoy the centerpiece. It was fun to make. I went out into my garden. I pulled off all my red mums off of one of my larger mums. And then I stuck them in these urns. Very easy, very elegant looking. This, I love this right here. I actually didn't get this from a garage sale or an estate sale, but it was an antique store and I didn't pay very much for it. But it's actually a nutcracker and it's really fun. For the buffet area, I didn't use all garage sale or estate sale items. A lot of them are pieces that I've gotten from garage sales or estate sales, um, but I also mixed in some family heirlooms that have been passed down, as well as these are garage sale pieces that looked horrible when I bought them. Um, a lot of tarnish and then with some silver polish, they clean up very nicely. Added with different uh, seasonal knickknacks. This actually is a family heirloom here. And then I took leftover uh, name place tags and then put them in here to act as labels for, and they don't want to stay in right now, but to act as different labels for food items. So whether you've already started a garage sale, estate sale collection, or you need to make a list of items that you want and be patient. I know that's the hard part, but be patient and chances are you'll come across these items someday. Good luck.